Yes, I bought a whole chicken. A whole chicken. All for myself. Yeah. this chicken for the next couple days so I just have to have protein. It's kind of kind of addicting, isn't it? Little bunny rabbit, cute little bunny rabbit eating chicken breast. mirror for the gains <laughs> uh, this is my little room uh, and a cute little bathroom see-through shower <laughs> closet and some bathrooms and these are the items that I bought I'll share with you guys bag of nuts we've got Bananas, carrots, cucumbers. We've got pineapple and blueberries. I've got strawberries, blackberries, blueberries, and apple. A little bit of almond butter. Uh, this is calamari salad. Mm. And I bought a whole chicken. Ah! So this is just a salt and pepper rotisserie chicken. There's no oils in it or anything like that. It's just chicken salt, black pepper. It's perfect. Big jug of water. I bought this too because I'm going to eat this right now. This is going to be part of... Come here, open. 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 Gonna be part of my dinner. So I'm gonna eat some of that and some of that. So it's sauteed mushrooms and asparagus. And I also bought a bunch of veggies to eat for later. Look at this. Stop staring at me. Alright. Hi, there's my face. What am I doing down here? What am I doing down here? What is Honey Buns doing in LA? If you guys have seen kind of posts and random things I've talked about, I am here to film the second portion, so the second add-on, my 90-day challenge for my Fit Plan app. So if you guys, any of you have downloaded my app, you can download on iPhone, in Apple, or Google Play. Download my app. There is a free seven-day trial you can do, but basically you're working out with me on the phone. So I designed all the workouts, and then they get put into the phone. Then we film all the exercises. So you actually get to pretty much like work out with me. You get to see how the exercises are done. You get to track everything. I mean, the app is so amazing. You just have, you have to check it out for yourself. <laughs> There's already a 60 day challenge. Now this is gonna be the 90 day challenge. It's gonna have three phases, the build phase, the prep phase and the burn phase. <laughs> so this is basically gonna be a 90 day challenge to get you beach body ready. Get that summer bod. <laughs> So it's gonna be a little bit more intense. Some of it's gonna be a little bit more advanced, but nothing that no person can eventually get to. And it's nice to sometimes have challenges for yourself. So um, we are, I start at seven o'clock tomorrow morning. <laughs> I'm such a morning person. And I film all day tomorrow and Tuesday, so two days of filmings. It's gonna be like 80 to 90 exercises we gotta film. Um, then we gotta do interview and then adding in, I'm um, adding in cardio to this one. I'm adding in stretching to this one. So it's gonna be a lot of more added on from the first one. So I'm really excited. So those of you that already have been using my Fit Plan and have already done my 60 day challenge, this is exciting because now you get to do another one from me, from more. <laughs> So I'm really excited about this. It's going to be a long couple days, but it's going to be so worth it. But I'm going to take you guys along with me and do kind of like a behind the scenes and what goes into doing something like this and filming something like this. It's something that I've been so adamant and so passionate about and being able to share with you guys and bring it to you guys to your phone because we're all on our phones. <laughs> and it just makes it easy to basically for me to be your coach instead of you guys being on my wait list or you can't get in, you know, get into coach with me because I can't personal train 100,000 people. <laughs> so it's nice to have an app, something that is a little bit more connected to me. I also has, have a Facebook community where I actually stay connected with all of you guys that are currently using my fit plan app so i am pretty involved with your progress with what you're doing and i do answer questions i even do tips and suggestions on all kinds of stuff in that facebook fit plan fam community <laughs> so and then once i complete this 
my next project for my fit plan app is going to be a nutrition part which is going to be really exciting because it's basically going to be how to set up your days how to calculate exactly what you need for your goals specifically for you your needs and your goals there's going to be recipes and meals i mean galore pre and post workout foods it's going to talk about supplementation it's also going to talk about you know the importance um, of different macros the protein carbs and fats and your micronutrients and the importance and benefits of all of those so it's going to be very detailed a lot of you have questions about nutrition and how to even get started in that in that area and we know that diet is a hundred and ten percent of this lifestyle if your diet's not on point no amount of training, no amount of anything is going to get you your goals or what you want. Plus, having the proper diet and taking in the proper nutrition, you're going to be healthy, you're going to feel good, you're going to look good, and your energy is going to be awesome, and you'll be able to gain the right amount of weight if you want to gain weight, gain muscle, or lose weight. So all of this is going to tie in together, and it's just going to, I'm just going to continually be adding to my app. I'm really excited that this day is finally here because I've been, it's been a uh, good six months that I've been kind of like getting the second portion work together so it's a lot of work that goes into it but uh but it's all worth it <laughs> flattened unwashed hair of like almost a week this is reality guys it's not perfect all the time yeah i'm about to take a shower and rainfall for a waterfall oh i washed my hair it's all i'm just all clean right now i clean these dirty hairs <laughs> i just wanted to share something with you guys that i know a lot of us struggle with and a lot of us i know i have struggled with it I struggled with it a lot actually in the past and it's when preparing for events like spe specific things that you have that are important to you, to you in your life I would stress so much about what I was eating how much I was training to just to look a specific way like all the time so as soon as I would you know get to my hotel it was like I, I worked out and I worked out every you know all hours of the night and every day after that I would like use like try to do everything I could to keep the water retention down to not get bloated I put so much stress on myself that I was actually making things worse for myself I mean we do that we put too much stress on ourselves for things like that lately especially since I started doing jujitsu um, the martial arts and doing intuitive eating whenever it comes to these events and these things that I do now I don't stress about them anymore. Like when I got here to LA, I was the first thing I would have done in the past is go, go, you know, come to my hotel room, and then worked out. I've done all these, this crazy like ritual routine just to stay on on point. First thing I did is when I got here is I went, you know, obviously I'd go get my food because I need food, and I came to my hotel and I just relaxed. I caught up on emails, and I haven't. I usually, lately, I don't even step foot in a gym when I travel <laughs> I mean, unless it's like a long period of time I want to get some exercise but usually on shorter trips like this I just don't even go work out it's nice I stopped overtraining training all this crazy cardio and all this I had to weight train six seven days a week oh, and this and that's and that. <laughs> and now I just have a balance between everything and the nice thing is especially doing this intuitive eating is I'm not obsessing and stressing over weighing all my food making sure I have specific foods with me on this trip I mean I really eat I stick to I don't go to the new processed foods but I really eat anything and everything raw and fresh you know I get all the fruits I want all the vegetables I want all different ones it's never I can only eat certain vegetables and I can't eat fruits and um, I eat all different meats you know it's just and then my different carbs I'm not eating every two hours I've just you know I intuitive eating is just 
eating when I'm hungry, eating what I want, eating how much I want, and that's it. And it was something that I, I developed over a period of time. It wasn't, you know, I obviously have a, a better relationship with food because most people can't just jump into intuitive eating if you already have an unhealthy relationship with food because you're either gonna binge eat or you're gonna like have these weird things in your heads and not, you know, not do it the proper way. So with intuitive eating, it's just, you know, I still make sure I get an adequate amount of food in my day according to what I'm doing. It's nice to not have to stress about that stuff and I'm able to maintain lean, I'm able to maintain like basically a photo shoot ready body. Um, you know, I'm not as shredded <laughs> as a lot of these a lot of these people and I don't have like the biggest glutes or most shredded abs, but I'm comfortable and I'm really really happy with where my body is at right now. <laughs> and with everything I've done as of recently, my body's really taken shape to that and I, I'm I'm loving it. And the fact that I don't have to work so hard for it. And that's the other thing that I love about it. I'm not, I'm not stressing, I'm not like, like I said, overtraining. <laughs> Honestly, I probably weight train two days a week. All the other days I'm doing a mix of some cardio, some stretching, some core, and then my martial arts and my jujitsu, my Muay Thai and my jujitsu. It's a mixture of everything and it's nice to have that variety. It's just, it's, it's about a balance. I just wanted to share that with you guys that we don't always have to be on a specific plan and always stay on the same exact routine day in and day out. I've tried all different plans. I've tried all different. I've tried so many different things, and I've tried them for an extended period of time. And I really, and then I realized it didn't really work for me. So then I've gone to something else. And where I feel most comfortable at is where I'm at right now. Is not is is the less training, the variety of training, and intuitive eating, not counting and obsessing over numbers. My body's loving it. Everything's <laughs> loving it, and it just makes life easier for sure. You know, I think all of us are capable of it, but some of us overthink and make it more complicated than it needs to be. I know I've been there, and it's just about establishing good habits and good routines. And again. When you're doing this lifestyle, it's what your intention is with it. If your intent is to just look a certain way, you're gonna obsess and stress and compare and judge all the time and then you're gonna start resorting to those you know, extreme measures, pretty much hating what you're doing instead of enjoying it. If I've been there where I enjoyed something for a period of time and then I stopped enjoying it because it became obsessive, it became stressful. And then I got to the point where I found something that I really just, it just flows. And uh, it's just, I think that's what this lifestyle is about, is finding something that you really enjoy and that makes you happy. And you're happy doing it because then I think everything follows with that and it shows. I'm gonna go to bed now because I am tired and it is getting really late. I think it's it's almost midnight. <laughs> Such a night owl. I'm trying to work on this sleep thing. There's just so much work to do. Not enough time in the day. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, you guys. <laughs> I'm really tired. I did not get any sleep last night. I think I went to bed. Finally fell asleep at like three. I think I got like three hours of sleep. <laughs> Sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. So I'm really tired. It's gonna be an interesting day. Just couldn't sleep last night. A lot of my mind it happens sometimes, but I'm gonna start with some fiber and it give me some energy. Yes, some mango madness. There's so many doors. Which door? <laughs> it says E. I'm supposed to go to E. And I don't see E. Hi, Hi. Hello Good morning. again. Good morning, Good morning. world. <laughs> How you doing? Welcome. Good. Good to see you again. <laughs> Good to be seen. Yeah. Good to see you in Hollywood. Just doing this. Just there. <laughs> <at your place. laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey, Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. I'm stealing your makeup. Yeah. Hi. So cute. Oh, it's it's so very good, good to see you. See I know. You. Hi, I'm the makeup artist. <laughs> I know. I was like stuck upstairs. Oh. 
Look at my makeup, dude. <laughs> Do your legs like this then? Is that how that one works? Like, <laughs> like what? Do that again? Yeah. <laughs> like that? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm done. Good to go. This is the new form of contouring. <laughs> this is LA Highlight. style. Highlight. Alright, hair and makeup done. Alright. What's up back there, Cam? What's up? Cam? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's up? This is a nutrition guy, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're gonna be working together for the nutrition yeah. part that's coming soon. Told you about. Coming soon. Big things. Aren't <laughs> over here writing down all the exercises. Hey, hey. Hey, yeah. Awesome hair. It's fire. <laughs> and What's up, Jen? Filming each other. Filming each other. Filming each other. <laughs> <laughs> you can look at all your equipment. We're getting ready. Yes. So here we are. Say what's up. <laughs> Setting everything up. So this is what the studio looks like. This is what it looks like when you go into filming all this stuff. It's cool, right? I'm gonna be over here. We got this guy over here. <laughs> what do we got over here? Fruit. Oh. Some coffee. Ooh, chocolate. <laughs> Cookies. Look at this fruit plant. <laughs> this will be my. I'll be eating a lot of that. <laughs> I'm just about ready to start filming day one, 90 day challenge. I'm excited. It's gonna be interesting because I'm tired, I'm sore, but right? But you push through, it's beast mode. <laughs> Cam made a good point. Why are you not tired and sore? Because why? You're a champion. We're That's champions. How we roll. This is how we roll, exactly. No <laughs> Making that crazy ponytail. Yep. The rock and roll. All right, let's slate this. Whoa, I just hit myself. <laughs> Number eight, alternating lunge off with straight arm dumbbell twists. One. Here comes the sweat, guys. This is work. I'm actually like working out right now. It's gonna be like eight hours of working out. <laughs> it's not work until you sweat. All right. So, can you say something like really loud about like the peak? What's up? Hello? Perfect, thank you. How's it going? I'm eating. This is candy. Nature's candy. Nature's candy. <laughs> What are you doing here? <laughs> bon appetit! Time. What up, girl? <laughs> yes, I got a whole chicken breast. <laughs> don't judge me. <laughs> the whole damn bird is exactly right. I'm not discriminating. I don't mess around. No. <laughs> Ooh, oh, sorry. Looking good? Yeah. Looks great. Hey, Jen. Jen, how you feeling? Yeah? Is it nap time? But now we're setting up the squat rack. You've only done 64 exercises. That's not enough. <laughs> okay, so. Tired little panda. But it's time to do some squats. Yes. <sighs> Building honey buns and squat rack. Come on, you guys. Put your backs 
face into it. Put your back into it. What? We got all these goodies over here. We've got donut holes. We've got cookies. And we've got fruit. So you know what? What do we uh what do I do? I actually go for the natural sugars. And I eat as much as I want of that versus the processed. I mean, I don't really feel like the processed sugar anyway because I know how it's gonna make me feel. So I just keep eating fruit. <laughs> it's easy to do. I'm just tired. Yeah, this looks great. This is where you sleep. I'm going, exactly. <laughs> I'm going off at three hours of sleep right now. We've been going since uh, 7 o'clock this morning. It is 5.30. We're almost done. Almost done for today. <laughs> Jen, we're going to move you actually closer to this. Oh, side. you have to move my bed? Yeah, we have to move your bed. <laughs> He's moving my bed. <laughs> no. I'm mad at you. <laughs> Or tomorrow. <laughs> Holy crap, I'm just gonna take my makeup off. Deep inside my head, head aches. 